If you noticed, Future just released his new album, Save Me, and I want to make tutorials, and today we're going to make a beat, just like Save Me, for example, the song Government Official, and yeah, let's go. The BPM for the songs, it's just a 7 track album, about 145 BPM, yeah, you see here, this, and this, and this, and yeah, we're going to make a hard beat today. Let's let's go. Sounds no. Okay, so let's start like that. Uh, e C and B. enough two bars let's get it so what we're gonna do is probably layer this a few times and put a half time on it we're need, gonna need some something more ambient to fill up the whole space uh, first EQ this bitch play around with the velocities a bit because it sounds kind of harsh when the two notes are hitting at every two bars still need something to fill up the whole space so I'm gonna search for something like a pad first I'm just gonna sort by all and search for a pad that's easy way right now I start with the clap and then do the 808 just because oh, I don't even know fuck off First I'm gonna check if it's in tune. Oh. Oh, okay bro.
not go blue. Also, you gotta make sure that the aliens don't overlap and by right clicking and putting cut itself on. I'm just gonna copy the 808 pattern onto the kick pattern and press Alt K to put them all at one note and gonna pitch them up to see by pressing Shift and fucking key arrow, arrow buttons. snares for some extra bounce probably gonna let's try some snare rolls um, pressing alt u to get the chopper up and here you can mess with the like how often notes will come up. It's a little too sharp. So, first I'm gonna put down the velocity a little bit on every second. So you can hear like a more bouncing forwarding pattern. Yes. Um, I'm going to change the panning on the notes by going down here next to velocities, right clicking and clicking note pan. And what we're going to do is make them switch from left to right. It's going to give a nice eerie effect and just give, going to give it more space. I switch it up so it doesn't always start on the same ear side, whatever. Let's get to mixing because this, this piece is kind of done. Just need some yeah, loving mastering real quick. So what I always do is I'm pressing CTRL. Um, we're gonna leave out these because we already added these by EQing in the beginning and shit. So you're gonna CTRL and left click, drag it down. Let go. Uh, go to your mixer. Go on the first insert and I fucked up. You're pressing CTRL. No, I fucked up again. Nah, you gotta press CTRL, Shift L. I'm fucking retarded. So yeah, first thing I'm gonna do. Many people, many. F what the fuck? Uh, we're gonna put two things in mono day to in the kick because you always wanna have your kick like in the middle in front. And then we're gonna CTRL drag over here and move everything down and we're gonna start with the kick the kick's the loudest part or should always be the loudest Kind of done with the mixing now. Let's go to mastering. What I like to do is put up the normal parametric EQ and just boost the middle a little, and then use fruitometer just to make it louder. What you're gonna do is turn the free envelope knobs down, put the ceiling to a minus 0 0.3. Yeah, 
and then turn it up as much as you can without it clipping or sounding trash. Now let's structure it. Since we've all made in one pattern, you can just press right click, split by channel, drag these out. Let's go. So I'm probably gonna still add to kick to the first half. Yes, basically it. So if you want to see more tutorials, make sure to subscribe. I'll not only upload typees and probably do this too. And we'll see you in the next video.